facial cleanser. Since I'm making this for somebody else, I'm going to take some, a few extra precautions. <laughs> so I'm going to wear gloves and I'm going to heat and hold um, the ingredients that I can. I'm going to heat and hold them just in case. Okay, so here's my Dysodium Lorith Sulfacinate. Sulfacinate? I don't know. So I need 40 grams. I'm only doing a small batch. my Amphisol, I need 20 grams. locally lotus aroma gentle toner but it's actually like it's lavender hydrosol with uh, some preservatives so of my calendula hydrosol. next ah, aloe vera which is 20 grams I'm using glycerin and I'm using um, sodium lactate because sodium lactate is also a humectant. downstairs. Okay, so I'm just going to go get the last two ingredients and then I'll be right back. So chrome oils can handle the heat as well, so I'm going to put that in. Can't 
ethanol can also handle the heat. extract. I'm going to add it in now because I want to heat and hold it. Because it's a liquid. Um, on my can, my extract is a powder, so what I'm going to do is heat and hold some water and then add the heated and held water to the powdered extract. So. one gram. So now I just have to add my water. Okay. So now my water is 16.5%, but I want to leave out a few grams of it. Um, so I'm just going to do 30 grams. And I'm going to leave out 3 grams to mix in my um, extract later on. So I'm gently going to mix this and then I'm just going to put it on the oven to heat and hold it for 20 minutes at uh, um, 75 degrees Celsius, I believe. And it's actually going to be like darker than this when I add the chamomile extract in it too. It's a bit of a dark color, so it's going to be a brown looking cleanser, <laughs> but it's going to have nice yummy ingredients in there, so I don't think she'll mind. Okay, so I heated and held my ingredients there and okay so I heated and held my ingredients and then put them in this um, ice bath to cool down and now they're at a hundred degrees or Mm. Maybe Fahrenheit or like 45, 40, 37 degrees Celsius. So I can add my other ingredients now. And this is my chamomile extract powdered one gram mixed with um, mixed with um, heated and held water. So I'm gonna add that in now. This is my uh, preservative mixed with silk protein. I'm not sure if silk protein can handle the heat or not, so that's why I didn't heat and held it. Just 
like water, so it definitely needs some Crothex. Um, but it's still a little tiny bit warm. I don't know if that's just the container or what. I don't know if I should add the Crothex now or not. It is at less than 100, so I think I'm going to add it now. smells yummy. I like the smell of the chamomile, the lavender, and the calendula together. They smell awesome together. So it's set at an okay consistency, I guess. I thought it would get thicker than that, especially with where I use seven grams. I'll just stir it for a little while. I'm going to put it into these um, pump containers. Just getting some extra containers. So I'm going to let it sit for a while and see if it gets any thicker than that before I pour it into the container. Okay, so I guess that's as thick as it's going to get. You know, it's got an okay consistency. And you know what, this recipe would be really good for a foamer bottle. And if I had foamer bottles that were the right size, I wouldn't have had the liquid Crothex and I would have just uh, stuck with the very... Um, liquid consistency and then done the foamer bottle thing and that would have been good too.
this is the cleanser, so now I just have to do the lotion. But first I have to... Rewash all of my ingredients. So, my ingredients. <laughs> first I have to rewash all of my tools before I can make another one. So that filled up two bottles. That's perfect. That's perfect. So that's my... Um, my facial cleanser made using lavender, hydrosol, calendula, licorice root, chamomile, aloe vera, and all kinds of other wonderful things. Yay! This one has a lot more bubbles. This is um, the stuff I buy locally, Lotus Aroma Gentle Toner, but it's actually like it's lavender hydrosol with uh, some preservatives. So. of my calendula hydrosol. next ah, aloe vera which is 20 grams Facial cleanser. Um, since I'm making this for somebody else, I'm gonna take some a few extra precautions. <laughs> so I'm gonna wear 
gloves and I'm going to heat and hold um, the ingredients that I can. I'm going to heat and hold them just in case. Okay, so here's my disodium laureth sulfacinate. Sulfacinate? I don't know. So I need 40 grams. doing a small batch. So I'm using glycerin and I'm using um, sodium lactate because sodium lactate is also a humectant. downstairs. Okay, so I'm just going to go get the last two ingredients and then I'll be right back. So chrome oils can handle the heat as well, so I'm going to put that in. can also handle the heat. Now I have homemade licorice extract. I'm going to add it in now because I want to heat and hold it. a liquid. Um, on my can, my extract is a powder, so what I'm going to do is heat and hold some water and then add the heated and held water to the powdered extract. So, yeah. And so this is only one gram. Yeah. 